I slept for six hours last night, which is actually about average for me. Not as much as I was hoping for, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, we are currently packing all of our stuff away because we have to leave the Airbnb in about two hours or like an hour and a half at this point. Uh, I want to show you the bean corner over here, actually. Hi, I was just showing them the bean corner. Every time that we've gone to the store, I've gotten a couple packages of legumes. And over the course of being here for a month, this has accumulated to be almost 30 or 40, no, 29 pounds of legumes here. Apparently a lot of the stores in Vegas are sold out and it's hard to find um, like beans or legumes or anything. So my mom uh, wanted me to stock up on these before I left. And also apparently we were running out of toilet paper. So I got a pack of that too to bring back. Everything is cleared out. We are going to leave. We actually never even used that room over there. All right. I mean, if we forgot anything, Car can just come back because she lives here anyway, so yeah. 10.58 right now. And the car is all packed and ready to go. We just dropped the key off with the office and then we are now gone. We're gonna drop all of Car's stuff off at her house and then get a quick bite to eat and then say goodbye. So sad. We got some food here and we're just gonna enjoy watching the lake. Got salad and fries and fried okra. Well, looks like I have something to do on the drive back. I could color in this car. <laughs> Bring back the finished coloring sheet for a dollar off. I'll have to come back for that next time then. Fried okra is a very Southern thing. It's okra, but it's fried. This is what it looks like on the inside. I think okra is like a vegetable, right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess fried food probably isn't the best thing to be eating before I'm gonna be on the road for a while. And then I also have one water bottle, which I'm going to try to drink as little as possible because I want to have to pee as little as possible. So this will probably be more than I'll be drinking for the next, like, day, I guess. Well, I just dropped Kara off at her house, and I'm really not doing too good. Um, but besides that, I don't think I really said it exactly yet, but what my plan is for this road trip is driving straight through to Las Vegas. So... Uh, it's just under 20 hours of driving to get to Vegas, so I mean, it'll probably take a little bit longer, like stopping for gas and stuff. I figure once it starts getting pretty late, I'll just stop at the rest stop and sleep for a few hours. Uh, only issue being is that it's supposed to be really cold overnight. Like, I looked at the weather for every single city I'll be driving through, and it's pretty much going to be below freezing for every single city. So, uh, back here, I have clothes covering my laptop and stuff. Um, so I have like a couple sweaters, a uh, long sleeve shirt. I'm wearing shorts right now because they're comfy, but I do have uh, sweatpants and more pants as well back there too, like pajama pants and jeans and stuff. Um, so hopefully I can put those on and stay warm because I think you're supposed to crack the window open if you sleep in the car just so like the air circulates and you don't like drown in your own sweaty air or something. First thing we have to do though is get gas because you can see we're under half a tank. I actually filled up this tank of gas like right after I got here so the whole time I've been here in Ponca I've used up about half a tank of gas and that's like going to the lake and stuff too. Uh, and then you can see right here in total trip A that is the trip from when I left Vegas to come here to Ponca City, Oklahoma. In total so far this whole trip we've gone pretty much exactly 1500 miles like on the dot really. So yeah we're gonna get gas which is right over there and the price is 136 per gallon which is really really cheap for america for any of you not americans there so i'll just see you back in a minute once you get gas oh yeah also uh i don't want to touch the gas thing so i'm just gonna like use paper towels to like grab the handle the nozzle and to like press the buttons i'm just gonna hold the paper towel over it but here's the map this is what we're gonna be doing um, so i guess it's like a little bit under 20 hours so 17 hours but i'm gonna say like with traffic and then including time stopping for gas i'm gonna put that more closer to 20 hours and like i said if i get tired which i'm sure i will i'll just stop at a rest stop and sleep for a little while but this is the plan first thing we're gonna do is drive south into oklahoma city and take the i-40 all the way west to vegas um so i don't know how far we'll make it before i get exhausted i'm gonna say guess randomly that'll probably be around like New Mexico, maybe close to Arizona or something, and then uh, sleep for a few hours. I bought a energy drink. Oh, let me show you my little snack pack of things that I have in here. I got a couple bags of chips um, or crisps that Car got and just gave me the rest of it because she didn't finish it. Um, I got a couple apples and those paper towel, and then at Walmart because Car works at Walmart, so whenever I go there, I'd use those like free kiosk things and get like free stuff. So one time it dispensed 
two of these protein bars and then one of these little bars as well. So thank you Walmart for keeping me fed for free. And then some of those uh, chocolate things from the other video, but food's not important. Just not having to pee and use the bathroom and make it home safe and not fall asleep on the road is what's most important. I really want to use that Blues Brothers line. We got a full tank of gas. Maybe I'll wait till it's like dark out and I'll put on sunglasses. Okay, I'll use the line if the opportunity presents itself. You can't force it. I guess that's really all there is to say though. So goodbye, Ponca City, Oklahoma. And until next time, let's hit the road. It's a pleasant 58 degrees here in Ponca City, Oklahoma. I feel like a freaking airline captain or something. Okay, actual time of leaving is 11.23 local time. <laughs> now we can go for real. Okay, I've just gone on the highway now and uh, sad. <laughs> we just finished watching BoJack Horseman a couple nights ago and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but yeah, it was, it was a good show. Very relatable. Yeah. That's the casino over there. Completely empty. Kara uploaded her first video today, by the way. I said I'd give more of a shout out in this video, like at the start of this video, so uh, here's the shout out. Her links will be in the description for her YouTube channel youtube.com slash spookdog and her twitter twitter.com slash spookpuppy check her out it mean a lot well going through oklahoma city now of course not stopping anywhere yeah all right amarillo's next although it doesn't really matter because we're not stopping anywhere all this construction here in oklahoma city reminds me of this old saying that we used to say in chicago they say there's two seasons winter and construction here we are entering the i-40 I will tell you the directions to get home from here. I will dox myself. So we're gonna stay on the I-40 for 1,100 miles and then turn right. Lunch for today is the Cliff Bar. So there's a rest area right here that's closed and I'm really hoping that not every rest stop is gonna be closed because I kind of want to stay at one tonight, you know, because I'll probably get kind of tired. So hopefully it's not closed in uh, Arizona or Mexico or something. Welcome to Texas. Now, it's a very different feeling this time around than it was going the other way. I don't know if it's Corona or just, I don't know, the feeling of leaving. Not every rest stop is closed. Good to know. We are in Amarillo now. It is currently 6.31 p.m. local time here. So we've been on the road for about five hours now. And I just stopped for gas and the gas price here. I don't know if you can really see it too well from this angle. 149.9, so which uh 150. The cheapest gas price I saw so far was $1.26. Uh, that was around Oklahoma City. And I think from here on out, it's only gonna be getting more expensive. But yeah, it's still, even for like here, like 149 seems like really, really cheap. Like I just got 11 gallons of gas for $16. Okay, I know I said that I didn't really want to eat or drink anything today if I don't have to. Um, so far, I actually haven't had any liquids at all today. And uh, I haven't had to pee at all yet. But what I want to do is stop at Whataburger because I've been told by a lot of people that I should really try Whataburger and they have really good burgers. And like a lot of people have told me that over the years, like even my dad has told me that because he's gone to Texas quite a few times. Um, it's not just in Texas though, it's like all around the South. They don't have it in Vegas. I think the closest place they would have it to Vegas is like Phoenix or something, which is still quite a bit of ways away. So I figure, I don't know when I'll have the opportunity to try Whataburger again. And uh, now that I think about it, I actually haven't had any meat for over a month now. Like, I'm not craving it or anything, but I just want to try the burger, you know, because it sounds like it's a good burger from what I've heard. I mean, I'm pretty much vegan on accident anyways, just from, like, me only eating beans and rice at home and, like, vegetables. I don't want to get Whataburger here, though, in Amarillo, because I'm not really hungry, and then I also don't want the burger sitting in my stomach for so long. I'd rather have the burger in my stomach later when I'm, like, actually going to be getting closer to rest stops and I'm actually going to be stopping for the night or if I do stop at night, which I assume I probably will end up doing. So we're going to start heading to Albuquerque and try Whataburger there. Hopefully it's open. Um, I know the clock goes back one hour once we leave Texas and go into New Mexico. It says 24-7 online, but you know, with the pandemic hours, a lot of things could be different. I would not blame them if they're not open. And if that's the case, I will just eat my apples or something. I'll probably just have one of these protein bars on the way there anyways because, wait, let me check how long it is to get there. Okay, it's about a four hour drive to get there. I think they say that you should get up and stretch every couple hours, but you know what? I'm a gamer. I'm used to not getting up 
uh, very often and not stretching my legs for a while and eating lots of unhealthy junk food and treating my body very unhealthily and that is what I will put to work today. So let's get headed off to Albuquerque. Also, I imagine if I eat a lot of food, especially like carbs, meat and stuff, that'll probably make me tired faster. So probably best to put that off until later anyways. Or maybe not, I don't know, but you know, we're still, we're still uh, driving out of Texas. I feel like it's more interesting to show the view that I'm seeing rather than just show my face from like a really bad angle from beneath my chin. I'm not even looking at the phone, so hopefully it's a good shot. Um, but obviously I'm driving. <laughs> There might be a bit of glare, but we are now in New Mexico, the land of enchantment. I doubt you can see the sign. Something I really love about driving west is that you get these beautiful sunsets that just last for like half an hour to an hour or something. Whereas with driving east, sunset just happens immediately. The only downside is that the sun's in your eyes for so long, but um, that doesn't really bother me too much. I have sunglasses. My phone says 7.39 is the time right now. I'm not sure if it's like gone back an hour, but apparently it's 7.39 wherever we are right now. The sun's been blinding me for almost an hour now, but it's just finally kind of about to go down. I think I just passed to Kumkeri. Yeah, it's nice though, nice scenery. In case you haven't kept up with the videos, the reason why I'm driving cross country is because I originally drove halfway across the country like in early March, which was like right before the pandemic started and everything started shutting down and stuff. Uh, and we only had the Airbnb until mid-April, which is today. And I'm pretty much driving all the way home all in one day, which is like 1,200 miles or something. So <laughs> it's been a long day, very, very long day so far. Uh, it's so pretty. I've just been watching the sunset for the last like over an hour until now, but it hasn't been blinding me for the last half hour. It's been so nice to look at. So far, all the rest areas I passed by in New Mexico have been closed. And there's a sign saying, rest area closed due to water issues. Hello, I feel like I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, so I just stopped at a rest area here, which is actually very close to Albuquerque. We're like under an hour away and uh, I used the bathroom and washed my hands. I did not touch anything at all after leaving the bathroom. I could just kind of kick the door open with my shoes and uh, yeah, hopefully Whataburger's gonna be open. My paws are all clean and ready to consume Whataburger. I'm starting to get a bit hungry too. Hopefully they're open. I mean, if not, it's whatever. I'm sure we'll get the opportunity at some point in my life again. Yes, drive through is open. Oh, I don't know what to get. Apparently the melt's good, but apparently burgers are like, you know, the classic, of course, because it's what a burger. But then apparently you need to get like a double burger because otherwise the bread to meat ratio is going to be off. I don't know what to do, but I don't want that much burger. I don't know, man. That's a tough decision. Yo, look at that. It's uh, it's Walter White. You see that? Billy, get out of the way. Yeah. I'm breaking that. It's just like a mural or something. Just got gas here in Albuquerque. It was $1.69. I don't know if you could see the sign, but it is the funny number. And we got what a burger. So I got a what a burger with grilled onions instead of regular onions and then a large fry and got spicy ketchup to go with it. So let's see what this looks like. Here is the Whataburger. First time eating meat in over a month. That sounds really weird, but you know, it's all falling apart now in one hand. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yummy. And um, I tried the spicy ketchup. It's good. Tastes like spicy ketchup. <laughs> And the burger is good too. I see what people meant by the um, bun to meat ratio, but it's probably better I don't have too much meat because, you know, driving and don't want to have to stop and all that. I think we got like nine hours left to go to Vegas. Just going to eat as I'm driving though, because I don't want to sit around for any longer than I am already. It's 600 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas. Yeah, he, you all know the rest, although it's not really applicable. Let's get going though. It is uh, yeah, 10, 10 p.m. local time here. I'm gonna take the sunglasses off. Next stop is going to be Flagstaff so we can fuel up over there. We're almost leaving Albuquerque now. I can't believe this is the halfway point. <laughs> like I feel like I've been driving so long now, but now we're now halfway back. Okay, can you see the sign? Welcome to Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. It is 11.25 p.m. local time. And uh, I just saw a sign saying the next rest stop is closed. So whenever the next rest stop is open, whenever there's a rest stop, I'm gonna stop by there and talk a little bit, go for a stretch and uh, decide whether or not I wanna sleep or keep going on. Because as of right now, I'm feeling good. 
is 1.03 a.m., uh, which is local time, which is also Las Vegas time, but we're currently just outside of Flagstaff. Uh, I forgot how far away we are, maybe like an hour away from Flagstaff or something. We're at the uh, Meteor Crater rest stop right now. I just pull in here and luckily it happens to be open. I'm not really tired, but I think I'm going to take my contacts out and then maybe like put some uh, juice on them and review them. I don't know what I'm saying because I'm, I'm not like tired. I'm just, I don't know. My brain is fried. This is very mentally exhausting. The reason I'm not staying in a hotel tonight is not because of the money. Uh, it's just because with the pandemic going on, first off, I don't know if hotels would be open or if it'd be hard to find one. Um, and then also because I don't know if I'd trust being at a hotel because, you know, a lot of people stay at hotels and go through and stuff. So I don't know if I'd even want to stay at one anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna go do my contacts. Apparently it's 46 degrees outside, uh, which is actually pretty nice because as I was driving here, it got to like freezing at some points. And then as it got to Arizona, it's being a little bit warmer and warmer. I'm guessing because of the elevation maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel tired, so I don't think I'm going to fall asleep. It's nice to close my eyes for a couple minutes, though, but yeah, this is, like, not what I was hoping for when I first started the road trip, but, you know, of course, none of us could have ever predicted this would ever happen. This is, like, the exact opposite of what I like about road trips. I like, you know, taking my time and being able to see all the sights and stuff. I don't like just rushing through to get to my destination, but you know what? How would I know I don't like doing that? without having ever done it before so i'm glad that i'm doing this so i can experience it and you know this is all part of the journey i think i'm going to take the uh why well, i'm saying take as if it's like some kind of drug or something i mean i guess caffeine is technically a drug i've never tried five hour energy i've tried um i think red bull is the only energy drink i've tried before because like there'd always be the red bull girls on my college campus and it's a skate contest I've been to before, just giving out free Red Bulls. So I've never tried five hour energy. It's pretty small. Hopefully I won't have to pee a lot because I think caffeine makes you pee or maybe it's just coffee, um, but there's not much liquid in here anyways. So maybe I'll like drink half of it or something. Uh, it's 200 milligrams of caffeine, which I think is the equivalent of like two and a half cups of coffee in this whole thing. Dude, this just tastes like I'm drinking medicine or something. All right, off to Flagstaff to get gas and then straight through to Vegas from there. I accidentally totally just drove through Flagstaff and didn't even realize until like I finished driving through it. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's one of those towns that you just accidentally drive through. And I think it's like my second or third time accidentally driving through it when I meant to stop in there. Um, but it is 27 degrees here Fahrenheit and I'm in a t-shirt and shorts right now. I just stopped for gas right here at a sub stop off the highway with like a McDonald's and stuff here. Uh, once again, I am hiding the gas price. You can't even see the gas price from this angle, but it was two thirty-five for gas here. So yeah, getting more and more expensive, but I mean, it's still like pretty cheap compared to what it was before uh, the pandemic. This is it though. We are off to Vegas. I think it's like four hours from here to get back there. So let's uh, finish this last leg of the trip strong. And the time is 2.21 as we're heading off. It's so funny that up here in Flagstaff, it's 27 Fahrenheit and I checked the weather in Vegas and it's 63 Fahrenheit there, which like legitimately would be t-shirt shorts weather over here. I mean, this is below freezing. I mean, there's no one even here to see me anyways because everyone's asleep. Not that I care either way. 5.13 a.m. Nevada. Yeah. <laughs> we have made it. It is 6.05 a.m., which is the equivalent of 8.05 a.m. in the time that we left. So we left at just after 1, and we arrived back here at just after the equivalent of 8. So that means uh, it's about 19 hours, or we left 19 hours ago, and now we are here. And then for some more fun numbers here, uh, let's see, we had 1,500 miles on the dot, and I guess we went 1,227 miles. And in total, from when I first originally left Vegas, we have gone 27, 27 miles. I don't know if that is in kilometers. Just in time to catch the beautiful sunrise here. 
Feels good to stand up. I know I'm a gross, filthy, greasy, hairy mess right now. I'm exhausted. I don't know when I'll edit this video or when I'll have the energy to edit this video together. So you'll see it when you see it. Although I don't know why I'm telling you that because it doesn't matter for you. I'm just pretty tired. I'm going to move all my stuff inside and then go to sleep and probably have a messed up sleep schedule for the next couple weeks. So yeah, I'll see you whenever I see you in the next video. So it's a fun journey and here's to more in the future.